Hello my darlings and welcome back to my channel and to another video. If you are new here, welcome my darling. Please don't forget to subscribe to help us grow and of course be friends and of course follow me on Instagram as well because it's fun, right? So today I hope this video will be a little bit shorter because I know some people complain that I talk too much and too long about a particular fragrance. But guys, this is just my style. There is nothing behind it. There's no ulterior motive behind it, even though some people suggested some, which is so rude, but whatever. Um, basically, what I am simply trying to do is to give you a little bit of background story why I like such fragrance. Maybe I have a memory attached to it. Or maybe I'm just trying to help you understand why you might like certain note and dislike a particular other one. So you know, it's just simply who I am. I When I explain something, I talk a lot and I cannot help it. But from now on, I will try to keep it a little bit shorter, at least in most videos. So today I prepared a very short, for me of course, because usually I show you over 20 fragrances a list. This time it's way less, uh, but I want to show you fragrances that are extremely fresh, but are extremely long lasting at the same time. So things that I wear, uh, some I've been wearing for years, some are new. Uh, but these ones are absolutely fantastic when it comes to freshness and performance. So if you are looking for a freshie that's gonna make you feel alive basically in heat of summer, uh, but you want something long lasting, then keep on watching. Okay guys, of course I'm gonna start with one fragrance that I do not have with me at the moment unfortunately. And this is a fragrance you would not really think of getting especially if you're a girl and I'm talking about Diorome Sport 2017 version it is a clear bottle with a little red um, line inside it so this one guys I absolutely fell in love actually because of my father because a few years ago I was staying in our mountain house and he left uh, his bottle there and for some reason I forgot my fragrances and it got very very hot and wanted something refreshing and I sprayed myself and I was like oh my god I fell in love so much so this one is an explosion of citruses but like very very nice sweet citruses so right off the bat it's definitely unisex and I know it's called Dior Homme but guys girls it has nothing to do with being very very masculine trust me uh, also it has nutmeg so it has a very nice uh, spicy twist to it I really really love that fragrance it dries down very smoothly and woody uh, so if you love those sweet citruses mixed with woody notes you have to check it out this one is so long lasting it lasts on me all day I'm definitely getting another bottle because I just um, recently finished I actually finished a bottle before I started YouTube unfortunately so it's been over a year since I didn't have it so I need to get it ASAP and I'm surely gonna share it with my partner of course but yeah uh, Dior Homme 2017 you need to get it nobody really talks about it uh, but that's maybe a good thing because you're gonna uh, smell quite unusual so that's the first one that's really long lasting uh, the next one I want to show you is by Hermes and that is Jardin Sur le Nil. Uh, I've been raving about it since I started my channel actually. This is basically a very green fragrance with some incense and mango in the top. Quite aquatic, a little bit of spiciness in here as well. But to me this one is the most beautiful out of the whole range, the Jardin range extremely long lasting fragrance extremely and this one will make you feel like cold summer rain uh, when you are struggling with the heat wave it really is extremely calming refreshing just beautiful just just beautiful uh, does it smell to me like Jardin sous le Nil? not really I mean I've been to the Nile area and I don't think it smells like that but um, I 
I, I get the idea, okay? Um, the mango here is absolutely exquisite because it gives you that fruitiness and the sweetness that some of us crave in fresh fragrances. Yeah, it's just beautiful. Um, there's Bull Rouge, really, really interesting uh, notes like carrots and stuff like that. But I love it. I really, really love it. This is really an explosion of freshness and sophistication. So check this one out. This one is my favorite of the whole range. Okay, now we're going to move on to something very fresh, very aquatic, but floral at the same time. To all my floral lovers, you need this one for sure. And that is Roberto Cavalli Paradiso Azzurro. And this one is Aquatic White Floral Bomb. Absolutely beautiful. Actually, let's do the tradition. Oh my god. This is like the most beautiful white florals with very big white petals drained in water. And, and just nice. <laughs> I love it. I really, really do. This is a very, very sophisticated fragrance. It has a little bit of the um, original Paradiso DNA, uh, but I would say it's, it's a masterpiece on its own. I love this one. A very, very fresh one. As much as Gemma di Paradiso would be your perfect nighttime sexy fragrance, Paradiso Azzurro would be your amazing uh, all day long by the pool by the beach but also work and running errands fragrance in the heat wave so check this one out very very long lasting um, I really get over seven hours with this one okay next of course we have an oldie but a goodie and it had to be here because it really is perfect for summer very fresh and very long lasting and that is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue or Antons. And this is sugary citrus fragrance. Like sugared citrus fragrance. It's just beautiful. Definitely one of my favorites for summer. Uh, if you are, or if you are <laughs> starting your fragrance journey and your collection, I would say definitely try this one out and go with this one out of the mall because this will this will really give you the citrus that you need you know it's sexy it's like white t-shirt blue jeans uh, but definitely a uh, resort girl in a bikini kind of thing just perfect uh, it's a little bit sporty a little bit sexy it's a little bit of everything. Summer party as well. So yeah, check this one out. Fantastic performance on this one. All right, next one. Uh, so this one is for all my alien lovers, to all my ambery touch lovers. There you have it. Uh, this one is Alien O Sublime. Uh, I don't remember from which year it is but I'm sure it's discontinued. But you still can find it online. Of course, as usual, everything will be linked below for you with the best prices I found online. Uh, so this one is a Solar Citrus Alien. And it's still definitely on the long lasting side for a very nice, sexy citrus. One of the most sexy citruses out there. I think it's perfect for vacation, but also uh, summer in the city for sure because you know it has that ambery grounding touch to it uh, but it's still ultra refreshing I must say oh wow those citruses here are done to perfection I really really love this one you still get full on alien DNA but you know a little bit more mellow and with very strong sharp citrus so that's Alien O Sublime, fantastic performance as well. Okay, we have two more fragrances to go. See, I told you I'm going to be quicker this time. Okay, next one is my absolute oldie but a goodie. I've talked about it many times, but uh, this truly is, again, a masterpiece, a long-lasting citrus fragrance, super refreshing. And that is Chanel Chanson so Fresh. Actually, this bottle has not been used yet and I'm trying not to because, you know, when I spray it, the air is gonna get in and it's gonna start 
oxidizing and you know now I'm keeping it fresh so if I really really need it I will use it but I'm trying to use up fragrances that are already like halfway through so let's say I'm really um, harassing this one so with Chanel Chanson Fresh you get definitely a more sophisticated version of Dolce Gabbana and uh, this one is mainly citruses and cedar wood with added um, florals to it. I think there's violet in here, uh, but it's basically a beautiful, beautiful combination. Uh, to me, it leans unisex, but it is still quite sweet and quite feminine. Nevertheless, uh, I think it's going to be beautiful on a guy as well, so you can share it with your partner. I love the bottle. And even though it's just all the toilet, this one lasts all day with very nice performance. I um, really, really can't smell it on other people because many of my friends actually use it and I can always smell them. So that's fantastic about it and I know those particular people are not over sprayers like me. So I can only imagine how much people smell me when I wear it. You know what I mean? Because I shower myself with this one. Yeah. Uh, great, great, great longevity. It's been around on the market for years and I don't see it being discontinued because I think it's still a bestseller. Uh, my favorite out of the whole range. So that's Chanel Chance of Fresh. Uh, this one is a beautiful mixture between citrus and floral and woods, you know, because here we have um, aquatic florals, here we have typical citruses. Uh, here we have very green citruses with uh, fruity touch and here we have citruses with alien, so amber and jasmine. And last but not least guys, I have my latest discovery and to be completely honest, at the moment I, I honestly love them both and I don't see myself without any of these because this is like the best of the best that I picked for you. Uh, but. To be completely honest, for this particular summer, I think I would be good only with this one fragrance. And yeah, I promised myself to use up that Dolce & Gabbana, but um, I'm also simultaneously gonna kill this one. And that is Molecule Eccentric O2. And I'm talking about the Eccentric O2. So not the Molecule, the straight up Ambroxan one, I'm talking about the Finesse version. Uh, so this is the Eau de Toilette uh, from Eccentric Molecules and that that is basically Ambroxan mixed with some citrusy touches at least on me. And on me it smells absolutely divine. Yeah, I don't know why. I'm, I'm not really sure if there are citruses in here. I know there is iris I think. So it is a little bit powdery, but in general it smells like the most exquisite men's cologne. Um, actually no, I'm, I'm gonna tell you how it smells. This smells like a clean sheet after a very great smelling couple had something something on it, you know? It's like the mixture between masculine and feminine, it's a little bit animalic, it's sexy, it's sweet from the Ambroxan, because on me, Ambroxan pulls, pulls so, so sweet, like amber sweet, that's why I love Baccarat Rouge so much, because I don't smell anything herbal, I only smell sweetness in Baccarat, and this one is just fantastic. I don't think this will pull anything like herbally on you for sure not um, because you know it has completely different nose structure than Baccarat um, but you have to test it before you buy it because I know that it really does get affected by people, people's pH uh, you have to watch my other video where I talk in depth about these fragrances so check it out I'll link it here but this one is definitely my favorite. I am absolutely in love with it. To be honest, every day it smells the, a little bit different on me. Uh, but the longevity is absolutely exquisite. Fantastic. Just fantastic. All day until you shower and sometimes even after. This is just exquisite. Even though uh, it's just an old toilet. So I'm super surprised. Also, it's going to be perfect to mix with other fragrances. For example, you can totally mix this 
with that one. You can totally mix these two. You know, basically you can mix this one with all the fragrances that I showed you and it's gonna amp them up even more and you're gonna get that uh, beautiful, ambery, musky, animalic, sweet base. So yeah, I love it. I love it so, so much. On me, it pulls quite citrusy. Uh, I get a little bit of like Dior Sauvage vibe, but like the best part of Dior Sauvage, you know? Like, it's so crazy, but at the moment it smells very, very much iris on me, and this is the first time I'm smelling iris from this fragrance, and I've worn it so much already. So yeah. Every day it smells different and every day my skin pulls something different from this fragrance which is super interesting and super fun to wear. So yeah, uh, Molecule Eccentric O2 is fantastic pick for summer if you like unisex touches, if you want something with Ambroxan, you are sorted. Alright guys, so that is it for today. I really hope you enjoyed my video and thank you so much for watching and see you in my next one. Bye.